most dangerous roads in the world. If you think driving is dangerous, wait till you see what kind of roads some people have to pass on a daily basis just to go from home to their job. Some of these roads are so dangerous there's barely enough space for two vehicles coming from opposite sides to pass simultaneously. A few of these roads looked like they've been built in the Middle Ages, and as time went by, they only became worse. And summer highways, with such a huge number of accidents happening per year, you'd need to say a prayer before you hit the road. So let's talk about the 15 most dangerous roads in the world. Let's dive in. Number 15. Dalton Highway The 414-mile Alaskan highway, which begins at Elliott Highway, north of Fairbanks, and ends at Dead Horse, near the Arctic Ocean, runs alongside the huge Trans-Alaska Pipeline System. The highway is pretty isolated from civilization, and everyone who dares to embark on this treacherous terrain that's mostly gravel is advised to bring survival gear with them. There are only three small towns along the road, and they're pretty far apart from each other. The traffic goes from 160 trucks daily in the summer months to around 250 trucks per day in the winter months. The road has been featured in shows like Ice Road Truckers, World's Most Dangerous Roads, and America's Toughest Jobs. 14. Taraco Road If you ever thought to yourself, hey, you know what my life is missing? A suicidal dose of extremely dangerous driving. Then you're in luck. The Taiwan Gorge Road has managed to make a tourist attraction out of it. Besides the extremely narrow gorge roads, you will also witness the Taiwan Marble Transportation System, which is basically the same road. The road is so narrow there's not enough room for two buses to pass each other, and the on-road scooters, pedestrians, and other vehicles make this road that much more fun. It's filled with tight, mountainous roads, blind curves, sharp turns, everything you don't need on a bad stomach. Number 13. Yungus Road <laughs> Get this. To avoid falling off a cliff, the steering wheel is on the left side so the drivers could see how close the wheels were to the cliff. For the rest of the country, traffic is right-handed, so it goes without saying that you want to drive on this road, you should do so at your own risk. The road is only 37 miles long and connects the cities of La Paz and Yungus region of Bolivia. The road attracts around 25,000 tourists annually, the major La Paz tourist attraction. Sad to say, 18 cyclists lost their lives on the Yungus road since 1998. The name Road of Death seems to fit it perfectly. Number 12. Halsema Highway Named after the mayor of Baguio City from 1920 to 1937, the Halsema Highway stretches for 90 miles and is situated in the Cordillera Central Range connecting Baguio and Bontoc near the municipality of Atoc. The road has an elevation of 7,400 feet above sea level. It's the second highest altitude road in the world. The hazards come during the rainy season when the chances of landslide increase. Plus, the slippery roads make driving so difficult, drivers avoid it altogether. The highway was featured on Hot Roads, World's Most Dangerous Roads. Number 11. Stelvio Pass No, this is not some video game road map you need to cross. It's an actual mountainous road. It's the highest paved road in the Eastern Alps. It's located in Italy between Stelvs, Stelvio in Italian, and Bromeo. Each year on that first Saturday of September or the last Saturday of August, the National Park smashes that like button. But otherwise, it organizes the Stelvio Bike Day. 12,000 cyclists have to pass through the 75 turns, 48 of which are on one side. During World War I, this pass formed the border between the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Italian Kingdom, where a lot of soldiers lost their lives. Number 10. Skipper's Canyon Road Formed in the gorge made by the Shotover River, this canyon road was used in the gold rush during the middle 19th century in Queenstown, New Zealand. The Shotover was the richest gold-bearing river in the region and was named after the very first settlers in the region. The road is extremely dangerous and has a huge warning sign at the start, which clearly states no exit and no turning for six kilometers. The road is slippery, narrow, and steep, and the drops are several hundred meters. It's worth noting that your regular car insurance does not cover any damages that happen while driving this road. Number 9. Hergada Luxor 
This is the road that's been referred to as a death trap by some websites out there, and for good reason. The road links the old city of Luxor, which looks a lot like a natural museum due to the ruins and mountainous terrain, and Hergada in Egypt. The 188-mile road has been renovated partly, and it's not advised to be traveling this road at night. Although there are constant patrols, you can still run into bandits and extremist militiamen who might make the night less than uncomfortable for you. It's been characterized by numerous accidents over the years. Number 8. Guo Liang Tunnel The tunnel road where one wrong turn can cost you your life is located in the Tiahang Mountains in China and has attracted the attention of tourists from all over the globe. The road was constructed by 13 men who carved the mountainside using hammers and chisels. To reinforce it, they used 12 tons of steel, but it's a safety hazard nonetheless. The road opened on May 1, 1977. It's only 0.75 miles long, but that'll seem like an infinity when driving on this road. With a width of only 13 feet and a height measuring 14 feet, this tunnel road has brought some very good tourist revenue for the local population. Number 7. From Arica to Akiwake Because of the mono-hued scenery around you, the road has been known to cause hallucinations, so you should be very cautious when traveling this road. The road connects Arica and Akiwake in Chile. Buses and other vehicles passing beside you are going at very high speeds as if they wanted to get the nightmare of driving this road over fast. If you look in the steep valleys everywhere around you, you can see carcasses of old destroyed vehicles that have been completely wrecked in accidents. Number 6. Padiopula Pertikaki The road starts at a small village by the name of Pertikaki, 2300 feet above sea level, and ends at Patriopolo, a mountainous village around 3800 feet above sea level. This road should not be attempted by novice drivers because of the steep cliff sides and the very rocky and unpredictable falls all over the road. The road is high in the mountains, so any mistake could be very costly. Leave your phone, don't talk to anyone, just drive, or you could find yourself at the bottom of the cliff if you don't. Number 5. Strada delle 52 Gallery during World War I, 600 workers helped carve a four-mile-long road at the height of 4,000 feet that was intended for the passage of mule caravans through the steep terrain of Veneto, Italy. The name is Italian, and in the U.S. it's known as the 52-Tunnel Road. It has 52 tunnels with a minimum width of around 7 feet. The 47th tunnel is the highest tunnel on the road, carved at 6,562 feet above sea level. They used it for transportation and telecommunication in World War I, but today, daredevil cyclists take this road to get that sweet adrenaline rush. Number 4. Commonwealth Avenue This 18-lane highway in Quezon City, Philippines takes around 3 to 5 lives daily in the country. This accounts for an annual death toll from accidents somewhere in the range of 7,000. Even though there's a regulated 60 mile per hour speed limit, the extremely dense traffic, pedestrians, motors, and careless driving take the lives of around five people every day. When an accident happens, people gather around the scene and then, in the chaos, someone else is hit by passing vehicles. This road also has another secret for you. If five accidents per day is not enough for you, numerous crime gangs are looting and kidnapping along the 7.7 mile route. Number 3. A726 the road that has flowers tied to lampposts is a tribute to the people who've lost their lives on the road. It's located in Scotland. It goes from East Kilbride, Glasgow, and finishes at Erskine Bridge, Renfrewshire. For motorists, the road offers a fear factor of 4 for 10. It has lots of twists for commonly used route in the area. It's been in disrepair for several years now, and in this state, the road has taken many lives. The locals say the government needs to get to work immediately to fix this crucial Scottish road. Number 2. Sichuan Tibet Highway One of the highest roads in the world that stretches for 1,330 miles from Sichuan to Tibet. It crosses 14 mountains and many more rivers. The common sight of car skeletons in the valleys is a common sight, and the terrain is characterized by landslides and rock avalanches. 
The number of deaths is around 7.6 per 100,000 people. Don't try to cross this road if you're an inexperienced driver, but for truck drivers wanting to go to the roof of the world, this road offers some of the most magnificent natural landscapes. In the plains, you can see yaks munching on grass, changing of seasons from spring to winter in a matter of days, and the whole journey takes around 14 days. The number of deaths is around 7.6 per 100,000 people. Number 1. Himalayan Road Network If you wanted to know which road made us go, oh hell no, this is it. It's the Himalayan Road Network, and if you're an adrenaline junkie, these roads will give you the high you were looking for. They're located around two to 3,000 feet above sea level, above one of the local rivers. Only a special kind of car can be driven here. There are organized tours which you can take. Know that sometimes one of the guides has to walk outside the car to assess whether the car can pass underneath the huge rocks. If that wasn't scary enough, what would you say to passing under a waterfall that has made the ground slippery and corroding the rock for many years? If you want to go, be our guest. We're not getting anywhere near this thing. And that's our list, guys. Say, have you been on any dangerous roads with your friends or family? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. And as always, thanks for watching.